In the 2026 Formula One season, the MGUK will be at the heart of hybrid energy recovery, powering the car and harvesting kinetic energy during braking. With the removal of the MGUH, the MGUK now carries the full load, reaching power levels similar to the internal combustion engine. Originally, energy recovery was meant to happen on both axles, but FIA rules banned this to prevent an all-wheel drive system, forcing teams to find alternatives like burning extra fuel or optimizing aerodynamics to save power. The MGUK will need to charge and discharge continuously, with batteries now capable of storing much more energy, up to 8.5 megajoules per lap. Most of this recovery happens under braking, where the motor generator slows the drive shaft and rear axle. But with rear mechanical brakes used less, they risk cooling too much, which could be dangerous if the driver hits the pedal when brakes are cold. This is where brake-by-wire comes in, balancing electric and mechanical braking to maintain safe temperatures. Mechanical brakes remain essential, providing a safety net when the battery is full or overheated. With the MGUK delivering up to 350 kilowatts of braking power, circuits with lighter braking demands could see the rear brakes get too cold before heavy stops, creating potential failures. Teams will need to carefully manage brake deployment and keep rear discs at the right temperature. Those who master this balance between energy recovery and brake performance will gain a critical advantage over a lap. F1 2026 isn't just about power, it's about managing it intelligently to stay competitive. For more news and updates about Formula One and Ferrari, follow us on ScuderiaFans.com.